what we were able to do, Chris and Norman, is we would take a copy of their image. We would water stamp it. This says 2006, Autauga, 2006, Elmo County. That's who owns the data. We just take a picture of it, and we give it back to them, and we sign a confidentiality agreement that says we're not going to use it for anything else. Uh, they say, okay. So what we've done now is we've loaded this county's imagery, and we've given it back to them. And we said, okay, if you've got a .gov or a .edu address, we'll give you this program for free. And when you get it for free, why don't you think about what would make you, help you do your job better? What data can you layer or tailor on top of this program to help you in the daily performance of your duties? Now, the firefighting community looked at this and said, wow, this has got some really neat tools. So the fire department in Montgomery is really kind of neat. Uh, Chris is used to me jumping all around. So uh, the firefighting community in Montgomery says, all right, so when a firefighter is not in the weight room, he's sitting on a computer Googling things, he can actually be on virtual Alabama, and we can start 3D modeling the buildings in and around our jurisdiction. So they could scroll down and actually 3D model out their firehouse. Not only can they model their firehouse, but they can identify where all of the hazardous materials are, all of the emergency exits are, they can put rooms, the way the rooms are designed, even furniture in the rooms if they're really creative. So now, if you're a firefighter, and you've got this done for every building in your jurisdiction, and you get an alarm for a fire, and you're able to see that building and know where the hazardous materials are, know the floor plan, know where the, uh, the emergency exits are, before you ever put a firefighter in a harm's way, you're probably at some point going to save a firefighter's life. So this is a pretty powerful tool for firefighters. So they believe in the program. You look at another stakeholder group for Homeland Security, and like emergency managers. Uh, and we'll have a chemical spill, for example, on one of our interstates. Well, a lot of emergency managers are familiar with a program called Aloha. Aloha allows you to access current data and build a plume model. So if a tractor trailer turns over on I-565 in Huntsville, it's got chlorine gas, and Chris is able to, you'll see some weather stations that exist all over the country. You can click on it, and we're live. So what you're seeing is real time. So she'll click on a little box here in a minute and it will tell you what the weather is in Huntsville, Alabama right now. And so what an emergency manager does, if that is still, he'll type in the wind direction, wind speed, temperature, and a few other factors, and all of a sudden he gets a plume model that shows him which neighborhoods are affected by the spill. That tells first responders what kind of gear they need to wear. It shows them whether there are probably casualties, whether there are probably injuries, where the cone of safety is for people to be evacuated. And they know all of this stuff going into a disaster. So at the end of the day, what are we going to do? We're going to save lives. So it's a pretty powerful tool for emergency managers. We can plot floodplain data. We can put fire hydrants. We can put gas lines. We can put water lines. We can put all of this stuff that has existed in some place in a, in a disparate agency in Alabama, and we can create a common operating platform that then layers that information at the click of a button. 